This isn't science fiction. There are currently hundreds, perhaps thousands of test plots of GE trees already being grown in the open around the world. When you take a gene from one species and transfer that DNA into a totally unrelated species, that's a completely different kind of experiment. This is now called horizontal inheritance. We've never done that before and it is absolutely bad science. They hope to engineer traits so that trees kill insects. Trees resist toxic herbicides. Trees will have reduced lignin, the long fiber that gives rigidity to the tree and makes it difficult to manufacture paper. Trees that are sterile, producing no seeds, nuts, pollen, nectar or fruit. What we found through our research is that genetically engineered trees are truly the greatest threat to the world's remaining native forests since the invention of the chainsaw. The pesticide can't be washed off because it's in every cell of the genetically engineered plant or tree. It's a lose-lose scenario. There's no way of dealing with this unless you stop this technology before it gets out of the laboratory. This is about the corporate enclosure of life itself and that is why I think it's so important for people to stand up and resist um, GE trees. The rush to apply these ideas is absolutely dangerous because we don't have a clue what the long-term impact of our manipulations is going to be. Genetic engineering is really a radical revolution in food production. It's really a cell invasion technology. You know, people have heard they're taking a flounder gene and putting it in tomato so the tomato can last in, in cold temperatures. But people ask, how does that flounder gene get in that tomato? How does it get in there? We will ensure that biotech products will receive the same oversight as other products, instead of being hampered by unnecessary regulation. Patents historically have been for things like, I've used the example of a carburetor. Well, a carburetor doesn't get up one day and start replicating itself everywhere and introducing itself into your car, so that all of a sudden then you get sued for patent infringement. Monsanto went on my land that I farm without my knowledge, without my permission, and took plants or seeds and said some of that was Monsanto's Roundup Ready canola. In August the 6th of 1998, they launched a lawsuit against me. I think uh, this is probably the largest biological experiment humanity has ever entered into. What is a corporation? 
It is under the law a legal person. These are a special kind of persons who have no moral conscience, designed by law to be concerned only for their stockholders. I just can't be personally responsible. Maybe you better incorporate. There are companies that make our lives better, and that's a good thing. The problem comes in the profit motivation. Liz Claiborne jackets, $178, and the workers were paid 74 cents. Nike assigns a time frame, 6.6 .6 minutes to make the shirt. That means the wages come to three-tenths of 1% of the retail price. Of course they make a profit, and it's a good thing. In our search for wealth and for prosperity, we created something that's going to destroy us. I never gave a thought to what we were taking from the earth. I didn't have an environmental vision. Endeavor there is opportunity. When the September 11 situation happened, the first thing you thought about was, well, how much is gold up? You can manipulate consumers. Is it ethical? I don't know. But our goal is to move products. It's always going to be there, so you may as well have faith in it. There are those who intend that one day everything will be owned by somebody. Within less than 10 years, a handful of global companies will own directly or through license the actual genes that make up the evolution of our species. I said, you know, this is news. This is stuff people need to know. And he said, we just paid $3 billion for these television stations. The news is what we say it is. Capitalism today commands the towering heights and has displaced politics and politicians as the new high priests and reigning oligarchs of our system. Does there need to be some measure of accountability? Yes. And I think the business community recognizes that. OK, guys, enough bullshit. Canada's most popular documentary, The Corporation. Now on DVD. More than eight hours of extras on two discs, commentaries, the making of, deleted scenes, and more. 165 new interview clips on 23 topics with related web links and strategies for change. Special offers at thecorporation.com. Make us social change. World domination not included. How many people do you know these days with a neurological disorder? How many family members or people in your circle of friends have something like fibromyalgia or lupus? How about a brain tumor? Studies in the New England Journal of Medicine show a growing trend in the rate of such disorders in recent years. I also became a statistic when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. It was the summer of the Great Fire in Tucson, Arizona, when I began my research and traveled across this country to find the truth. And again, it, it's this variability in your sensitivity to toxins. Some people may notice very little, if anything. A majority of people will have one of a number of symptoms because we know that the aspartame affects protein synthesis because it affects the, how the synapse operates in the brain. And because it affects DNA, can affect numerous organs. So you can get a lot of different symptoms that seem unconnected.